what's up everybody it's your boy Corky and today I woke up in Colorado so this is gonna be a Colorado adventure series and I wanted to bring something to you this week I've sworn that I've always gonna post a video a week and I've got to make it happen this week so I'm currently on the road right now this is just gonna be like a one cut edit uh, I'm like I said I'm on the road so I'm just gonna post this as I'm going down the road uh, I wanted to bring you the setup that's inside my truck and the setup on my KTM. I'm going to try to make this quick so I can get on down the road. Traveling during the day so I can see all the views. Colorado has been beautiful so far. Been in Colorado Springs, uh, exploring all the hills, rode Rampart Range, rode the Denver streets. But going through my KTM first. I just put this oversized tank on here and with this tank I can get at least 200 miles to a tank. It is super nice, it's a four and a half gallon tank and honestly so worth it because it's so sleek looking and tucked away. It's a little bit bigger feeling but honestly it's not too noticeable once I got used to it. This front tire, it's a DOT approved tire, I just put it on. It's a 50-50 tire. It's pretty aggressive as far as riding the really soft stuff in the mountains earlier. It did kind of wash away a little bit, but honestly, I'm loving it. Way better than what I had. Uh, to keep track of my GPS and where I'm going, I just put my RAM mount on here. My phone does not move anywhere once I hook that up. Uh, on my FMF, I just put the spark arrester in here. You have to have it to ride national forests. It's basically to keep from shooting flames and starting forest fires. So it's understandable. I can respect that. Other than that, I haven't really done anything else to the KTM. Put this back tire on not too long ago. It is a 50-50 tire. That's why it's kind of bald looking, but got plenty of life I'm definitely glad I had that for riding Denver streets so I could still do circles and everything else moving on to the truck I'll show you the front seat first but um, pull the key so you're not hearing that dinging uh, okay where do I begin so got my laptop up here I've got a three-prong outlet up here in my truck to start to charge it sorry Got my GoPro currently transferring some footage. Got my SD hard drive in here. I send all my GoPro footage to this, and then once I get back home, I can hook that up to my actual computer, and all my footage is instantly there. As far as tools, I got some shop rags, all the Allen keys I need, brake clean, a hacksaw, T handles, brake fluid. Uh, some shiny stuff if I want to make my bike look nice, but who wants that? Extra oil. I've got a pump for my air mattress that's in the back seat. I'll get to that in a second. And this is part of my life support right here. I've got the actual product in my backpack. But in here, I've just got an older battery bank to carry with me it's got a flashlight four USB ports this thing will last forever uh, car charger and whatnot for the actual pack that go this goes to and I think that's pretty well it I've got some protein snacks up here I've been living off those only thing I've ate since I've really been out here is a piece of pizza some of those and a peanut butter jelly sandwich. I mean, I'm doing all right. I've got a windshield cover for whenever I'm sleeping in parking lots at night, I can cover up my windshield. And yeah, I think that's it for the front seat. Oh, well, actually I can show you this. I've got a car jack underneath here in case my truck has any issues. I can jack up my truck on the side of the road. I've got enough tools in here to fucking make that happen. I could take the whole truck apart. <laughs> Moving on, uh, I'll show you my backpack first. 
I do have an air mattress in here. Like I said, it's half ass deflated right now. But in my backpack, I've got a tripod. This is for either your GoPro or your phone. I got it set up for my phone right now. So if I'm going down the trail, I can get some shots of me, like third person shots. And this is the main thing that is my life support. This is in that box I was up there. So these are jumper cables and these plug into this battery pack here. This is both a battery bank and a jump box. It's said to jump even like diesel batteries and everything. Super awesome. It's got a USB charging port and it's all digital. Let's see if I can get it to, yeah, 100% right now. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm leaving that fully charged. It's got a compass on it, just in case. Survival tool shit. It's got a flashlight on it. It's both a flashlight and a red light. This thing is super nice. I'm carrying it in my backpack in case I'm out on the KTM. KTM happens to die or I'm an idiot and leave the key on somewhere. Come back and it's dead. Then I've got this. Uh, let's see. I think that's all it's oh yeah i got a gopro chest mount just in case my pro shot breaks or anything happens with my gopro angle i'll at least have some kind of backup it's not the best angle but we'll leave that there for now uh dirty clothes nothing interesting there uh my fanny pack got all my gopro stuff in here so aside from my backpack I always carry this with me. Uh, I've got both my GoPro batteries here. Got some GoPro lenses, filters, an SD card in here, an extra SD card. Got two 64 gigabytes, a mask in case of me going in anywhere during coronavirus. My older GoPro. And I've got a phone tripod in here couple allen keys to adjust my clutch and some other things on the ktm just in case i need them always carry this thing even whenever i'm around town riding around uh, suitcase nothing interesting there behind my air mattress i'm not even gonna try to mess with those but i've got two giant bolt bins that are back there i've got all kinds of bolts to basically the entire put this entire bike together they're pretty big boxes uh i'm gonna make a kit to put it on my front fender bag whenever i go adventuring i need to put some of those extra bolts in there but i've got a tarp in case some storms start happening and i'm traveling in the truck i can cover up the bike or anything that's in the bed of the truck Got some zip ties, got some industrial size zip ties in here. Toolbox, uh, it's a pretty good size toolbox and it is filled with tools. I'm not gonna try to get it out with one hand because that's not gonna happen. I'll put all this stuff back in a second. I'm trying to make this video under 10 minutes. Uh, to lock in my KTM at night, I've got a chain running through the forks, through my ramps. And I've got a D-ring on the inside of my bed in here. So I just run all that together. Just can't stand thieves, you know. More tools to take my entire truck apart on the side of the road if I want to. I've got an impact in here, an impact drill. I've got some gloves. Bunch of other tools inside this, by the way. Uh, this is my front fender bag. I think this is pretty interesting of what I've got in here. So this... Sorry, I had to open it here. So this is what I mount onto my front fender. And in this, I've got a steel stick. In case I punch a hole in my case on the trail somewhere, I can uh, basically apply this and patch some holes in the motor. This is a hand pump. So you pop both these ends open. And this is a valve. You unscrew this. And this is basically a hand pump to air up your tires. And it's rated for even... Uh, car tires. I've also got plastic weld in here. 
in case I get a hole in my tank or anything, I can patch it with that. Uh, spare shifter, spare front and brake clutch lever, brake lever. I've got a pocket knife, some double-sided tape, some Loctite, and some slime. So this goes along with the air pump. If I get any punctures down in the trail, a couple hundred miles from where my truck is, I'm gonna hope that the slime and the air pump gets me back. If not, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Got a couple extra little bolts in here. But yeah, I'm gonna put all that back after I end this video. Got my helmet, my pro shot, obviously. You know what that one looks like. Got my pillow, this is the other side of my air mattress. Like I said, it's half-ass deflated right now. But that's generally how it's set up. Um, moving on to the front, the driver's seat. There's not much going on up here. Got some snacks over here. Uh, the protein bars, the s'mores are fire. And yeah, that's about it. My laptop. I think I pretty well covered any, everything. Hope I did a good job. <laughs> it's hard to make these one cut edits and try to make it quick. But yeah, I can't wait to get back home and start editing this stuff for you guys. I know I've gotten a lot of messages. I made a post on Instagram and you guys seem pretty excited and I'm pretty excited about this too. San Juans are supposed to be beautiful. I've never been there. I'm super excited to get there and start exploring. But I don't know. If you got any comments, questions, be sure to leave them in the comments, message me. I'm going to pick up all my trash that I dumped out on the side of the truck. And I think I'm going to leave it there. It's going to be the Colorado Adventure Series. This ain't going to be much of an episode, but I just kind of want more of an update. And you'll start seeing the episode soon enough. I'm going to get on the road. I'll leave you guys. Stay twist and grips. I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.